From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colberth. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It's still uh, another mild slash warm morning out there with 50s, 60s and 70s for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys. Also 50s and 60s for the Lower Columbia Basin and 60s for the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Here's your hour by hour for today for the Tri-Cities. We're going to be up around 100 degrees for today when it's all said and done. So for today, you'll have highs that will end up being about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. Just about as hot as it was for yesterday. So right around 100 for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys. The same thing for the Lower Columbia Basin. And we'll probably be just shy of 100 degrees for the foothills of the Blue Mountains. We will have some winds today gusting out of the north and west upwards of 25 miles per hour, mainly just for the Kittitas Valley. Today is going to be another first alert extreme impact fire day as the fire fuels are going to be very energized. Once again, the fire fuel energy in terms of historical percentiles still up into the 98th percentile for Kittitas and Yakima counties, up into the 97th percentile for the lower Columbia Basin, and up into the 99th percentile for the Blue Mountains. We've gotten pretty lucky this week when it's come to fire starts, but that, that doesn't necessarily mean that the luck will continue, especially as we continue to have more weather like this. Now for tonight, some of those winds from the Kittitas Valley could spill over into the Yakima Valley, so they could still gust upwards of maybe 20 to 25 miles per hour. But other than that, more clear skies and more overnight lows that are going to resemble what we have for this morning as we should be in the 60s for the Yakima and Kittitas Valleys. We'll also be in the 60s for the lower Columbia Basin. The same thing for the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Highs will be actually a little bit hotter for Saturday, a little bit closer to 105. You can see for the next seven days, our highs are really just going to bounce between 100 and 105, at least in the Tri-Cities. So we have more prolonged hot weather. That means that we'll have more dry fuels, which is why we're going with more. First alert, extreme impact fire days for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for the entire viewing area as there will be that risk for a large fire start over 100 acres. So for Saturday, it's really just going to be an extension of the fuels that we have for today as fire fuel energy is going to be up into the 98th percentile for Kittitas and Yakima counties, up into the 97th percentile for the lower Columbia Basin, and then up into the 99th percentile for the Blue Mountains. And then we're tracking these done Thunderstorm chances very closely for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, because if we do have lightning over dry fuels, that would also pose a risk for fire starts. Here's a seven day forecast for the Cascades. We'll see a return to 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday, but 70s other than that. For the Kittitas Valley, we'll see winds picking up for Sunday and Monday and then small thunderstorm chances for Tuesday and Wednesday. For the Yakima Valley, we'll still be hovering around 100 for the next week. And then for the lower Columbia Basin, highs will, like I said, they'll be bouncing between 100 and 105. For the foothills of the Blue Mountains, looks like we may be breach 100 for Saturday and then again on Wednesday. And then for the Blue Mountains, very dry fuels, tracking that lightning potential specifically for Wednesday.